Hello YouTube, this is Apple Tech coming at you guys with the top 5 tweaks for iOS 5. Now like always guys, if you like this video, just make sure to rate it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe up there if you're not subscribed already. You can also share this video by clicking the favorite button right down there. So that's much it folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the top 5 tweaks for iOS 5. So coming in at number 1 is called Flotation. You can find this one in the Insanely Eye repo for free. Now when you download this one, you do want to go to your settings. You want to navigate until you find flotation. You want to enable or disable this one. Now this one has two types. The first type is when you pull down on your notification center, you will get kind of like a push down on the home screen and your notification center will get pulled down as well. Now the other one is the stationary notification. This one just pulls down your home screen as you guys can see and kind of hides your notification center in the background. So it's up to you. You can have yours enabled to whichever you want. I really just like the notification where it moves and it pushes down my home screen. Now down here you have a fade effect. So you can have it to just fade or you can have it to fade as you slide down. You can increase on how fast you want the fade to appear. So I'm just going to have it over here where the fade will go a little bit slower and you want to enable it. So if I just scroll down on my notification, you can see that my home screen is fading slowly but surely. So you guys can enable that on however you want and that's mostly what this tweak does, folks. Once again, it's called Flotation. You can find it in the Insane AI repo for free. So coming in at number two is called Voice Activator. You can find this one in the Insane AI repo as well. Now when you download this one, you will have to go to your settings. You wanna go to Voice Activator. You wanna enable the tweak or you can disable it if you don't want it. Now right here, this is where you can add your commands. I added tons of commands. So you would wanna scroll down and go to Add Command. Now what you simply want to do is on the first tab right here, this is where you're going to speak to your voice control. So say if you just wanted to say hey to your voice control, sorry about that, say hey. Now you can have it to perform any action. You can have it to speak, so that means it will speak back to you. You can either have it to open a URL or do an activation method. So let's, um, let's do an activation method. Go back and right here you will have to configure your activation method. So you want to click on any one you want. So say if I just want to play a song. So when I say hey to it, it will just automatically play a song for me. So you just simply want to save it, do your activation method, and it will pop up voice control. Hey. And as you guys can see right there, it is playing a song right there. So it's as easy as that. As you guys can see, it played a song for me. Or I can just do another one. Let me just demonstrate another one that I have previously set. Hi, what's up? Now this one will open my SB settings. As you guys can see, it opened SB settings just like that. So now let me just do one more for fun. This one will actually speak back to you. Hi, Siri. So as you guys can see, you can just mess around with it. You can have it to speak back to you. You can have it to perform activation methods or you can have it to open a URL as I said. Once again, this one is called Voice Activator. You can find it in the Insane AI repo for free. So coming in at number three is called Zephyr. You can find this one in the Insane AI repo for free. Now this is a great tweak if you wanna add some multitasking gestures to your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now a couple things that Zephyr allows you to do, it allows you to swipe up on your multitasking and as you guys can see I don't even have to double tap the home button, all I have to do is simply perform that activation and I get my multitask to open. Now a couple more you will have to find it or set it up in your settings, you want to go to your settings, go to Zephyr and you have an enable to swipe left or right through pages. Now simply what that does is you can either have one finger to swipe like this and as you guys can see it multitasks through my apps that are on my app switcher so you can have it to set to two to three or four fingers um, doesn't matter on you how many fingers you want to set um, the other one is to swipe up or down this one allows you to close any app you want so say if I'm in my settings right now I just simply swipe up with one finger and ta-da the app has been closed so I can just demonstrate that again 
Um, say if I want to demonstrate it with two fingers. So all I had to do is simply tap on two fingers and swipe up just like that. Um, not very smooth, but it works. And I really like the feature of not using your home button. This can also be helpful if your home button um, is not working for some reason. So it has three features, swiping through apps just like that. Or it has swiping up and it closes the app. And the last one is just to swipe up and access your multitasking tray. This is an awesome tweak to have for your device. Once again, it's called Zephyr. You can find it in the Insanely Eye repo for free. So coming in at number four is called Tweakafly Lite. You can find this one in the Big Boss repo for free. Now, when you download this one, you will have to go to your settings, scroll down until you find Tweakafly Lite. Now, when you get to the settings, you have an enable and disable feature to quick reply to Tweetbot, Twitter, or Tweeties. I don't know about that app, but these two apps are the most common. So you can have it to set to whatever app or Twitter client that you use. You can also have it to show on your notification center, which is very nice. It will show on your bottom left hand side of your notification center. So you can enable that one or you can disable that one, whichever you would like. Now, before using Tweakafly, you want to go to Twitter Connect and you want to connect to your Twitter just to make sure um, that your tweets are getting sent out. Over here where it says add usernames, you can add usernames of um, people who you talk to. So that will be like a quick access. Um, the other one is an activation method. So this is very nice. You can have it to set to any activation you would like. I usually have mine just to simply tap on the status bar. That is like the quickest way for me. But for you, you can have it to any other activation method. Right here, you have enabled auto correction. So that will um, correct your grammar. If you don't want that, you can simply disable that one or enable that one. You can have it to show the music button. Now for the music button to be functionable, you will have to get Tweak of Fly full. This one is the light version as you guys can see right here. So I'm just gonna disable that one because you can't really use it unless you have the full one. Um, delivered sound, this is when you send out a tweak. You can have it to whistle, which is the regular tweak, send a message or shake. So that um, really relies on you. You can have it to hide. So say if you didn't wanna send a tweak, you can simply hide it. Um, so you can disable it um, whitelist and blacklist that is mostly on you now down here just allows you to follow developer and um, to thank him for this tweak so enough talking let me just demonstrate this one for you guys simply by tapping on my status bar you get a nice interface right here um, this camera button up here will not work because that one will just work on tweak of fly full this one is the light version so your camera will not work this contact right here allows you to load up anybody's contact um, right from Twitter. So if you guys want to chat with someone and want an instant paste of their Twitter name, you can paste it from there. You have a cancel button, which will cancel it. Say if I would just test out hi and then just send the tweet. As you guys can see, you get a whistle sound for whatever sound you have set it as. And another thing is on your notification center, you get a tab right there, which is tweak a fly simply tap on it and you get the same interface just like that so once again folks this one is called tweak a fly light you can find this one in the big boss repo for free so coming in at number five is called open in pro tube you can find this one in the big boss repo for free now first of all before i start off you will have to have pro tube installed before you have this one and what this one simply does it just allows you to open any um url that will direct you to your stock YouTube and it will not take you there it will actually take you to ProTube so just make sure you have ProTube installed now you will have nothing in your settings or nothing on your springboard to configure I'm just gonna simply demonstrate it in my mail so say if I got a comment from YouTube uh, let me see this one right here they left a comment on my product review um, if I normally tap on that one it will take me to YouTube but as you guys can see it directs me to ProTube so it just automatically directs any link that will usually go to your YouTube stock app. It goes to ProTube. That's the name open in ProTube. So as you guys can see, I am in ProTube. And if you guys don't know what ProTube is, uh, make sure to check out last week's episode of the top five tweaks of the week and you will know what ProTube is. But folks, that's much you get for this tweak. Once again, it's called open in ProTube. Make sure you guys check it out in the Big Boss repo for free. So folks, that is much you get for my top five tweaks for iOS 5. Make sure to check out last week's episode and the upcoming episodes. So if you guys want to check those out, just make sure to hit that subscribe button, comment rate, 
and share this video if you want more people to see it and as well folks tell me in the comment section below on what tweak you like the most this is apple tech thanks for watching